Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve system of equations or simultaneous equation using the calculator. The calculator which I'm using here is FX991ES+. plus. This is the same way with solving the FX991ES or FX991MS or any equivalent. There are certain calculator which allows you to write down the expression as it is in it. So in that case, you have to type the equations as it is and you're going to get the answers. So let's try to understand first which type of equations are called a system of equations. Let me show you. So any equation which is written in the form A1x plus B1y equals to C1, A2x plus B2y equals to C2, where A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 are the constants and x and y are the variables. So whenever you get a question to solve simultaneous equation or find the values of x and y, it's simply they are telling us to get the values of variable that is x and y. So now what I do by looking at the equation which I have given, let's take an example which I have taken here as 2x plus 3y is equals to 5 and x minus 2y is equals to negative 6. By referring to the standard form of the simultaneous equation, I need to note down the values of the constant. So that is uh, by comparing the first equation with the general form of the first and the comparing second equation with the general form of the second one. So from there, I have to note down the values of A1, B1, C1, basically the constants. So if you compare the first equation here, the coefficient of X here is going to be A1 and the coefficient of X here is going to be 2. So now I assign the value of A1 as 2. The same thing I repeat for the B1 as well. Coefficient of B1, uh, Y here is going to be B1. Coefficient of Y here is going to be 3. So I take B1 is equals to 3. And the constant term here I have taken as C1. But constant term here is going to be 5. So take it as C1 is equals to 5. In the same way, note down the values of A2, B2 and C2. So A2 here is going to be 1. Nothing has written in front of x means the coefficient of x is 1. So b2 here is going to be negative 2. c2 it's going to be negative 6. After doing this, so you simply go to the calculator and when you operate your calculator, your calculator will be on the on mode like this. Your screen, it appears like this. Then how do I go to the option and solve this system of equation? whichever the equation whether a quadratic system of equations and all so you have to first press it on the mode there are the different operations you can perform using this calculator that is comp stat equation table and so on so to solve because we are dealing with the system of equations or equations so we have to press a button 5 because button 5 corresponds for eqn which is written that's for the solving the any equation. So when you up press on the button five, it will take you to the type of equations further, which we can solve. We can solve system of equation with two unknowns, that is two variables with the three variables as well. And we can also solve quadratic equation uh, of the quadratic, sorry, quadratic equations. And we can also solve the cubic equations as well. And to now, the whichever the equation we supposed to solve here, this is of the type one, a n x plus b n y equals to c n. So press button one to make use of it. After pressing it, simply it asks us the values of a, b, and c. The first, first whatever the one here is representing here, they are asking us the values of a one, b one, and c one. And second representing here A2, B2 and C2. Simply you have to write down the values and keep pressing equal. So A1 value here is going to be 2. So I'll be pressing 2. Press equal. It will take for the next. B1 value here is going to be 3. Press 3. Then equal. C1 value here is going to be 5. Press 5. Then equal. After that, you have to press the values for the A2s now. A2, B2, C2 in the same way. A2 value here is going to be 1. B2 value here is going to be minus 2. C2 value is going to be minus 6. Press equal. And when you press now first time equal, you'll be getting the value of x. The value of x is going to be negative 8 by 7. And you can also, sometimes the options are also available here. Instead of writing in the fraction, 
it could also represent in the uh, decimal. So how do you convert this fraction into a decimal? You can see a uh, one button called S to D build, uh, you know, above the del or above the AC. This button, if you press it on it, the, your answer will be represented in the uh, fraction, sorry, decimal as well. And if you repress it, it will represent in the fraction. So this is the value of X. Now to get the value of Y, press equal sign again. So value of Y here is going to be 17 by 7. So if you want to know what is its value in the decimal, press again SD. It becomes 2.42857 and goes on. And if you want just in the fraction, keep it as it is. This is the way of solving simultaneous equation using the calculator. Let's take another example here which shows, this is also a system of equation, which shows the square root of x plus 4y is equals to square root of 7 and negative half of x plus 3 by 4y equals to negative 8. So what you can see here is the coefficients are not simple numbers. So they are sometimes in the root form, sometimes in the fractional form. Irrespective, whatever their coefficients of x and y, you have to write them down as it is. Note it down the what is the value of a1. So from the first equation, we write it down the value of a1 here is root 5. Value of b1 here is going to be 4. c1 is going to be root 7. No matter. Whatever it is, just write it down as it is. And from this, I write it as a2 value here is going to be negative half. b2 value is going to be 3 by 4. And c2 value here is going to be negative 8. Once you're done with this, so again, we will be going to the calculator, press on the mode, go to the option five, that is for the equation, then go to the option one. This is the system of equation with two unknowns, X and Y. Press it on one, ask us the value of A1, B1, C1. A1 is going to be root five. So write it as root five, press it equal. B1 is going to be four. C1 is going to be root 7. To operate that root 7, press first on the root and then press a 7. So it will take the value as root 7, close the bracket and put it. So it's getting the equivalent value in the decimal and calculator is taking automatically. A2 value is going to be negative half. So I can write it as negative 1 by 2. This is what the negative half it's going to be. And B2 is going to be 3 by 4, right? 3 by 4 is the value of b2 equal c2 value is going to be simply negative 8 press equal now after pressing equal you'll be getting the value of x here as 9.24227 it is representing here in a decimal it can also be represented in the fraction as well and by uh, pressing again equal you'll be getting the value of y value of y here is going to be minus 4.505150 some it's going on so this is how you calculate the system of equation so irrespective of their coefficients whether decimal fraction radicals negative positive you just need to take out the values of a1 b1 c1 and put it in the calculator hope this video is going to help you to solve a system of equation using the calculator uh, thanks for watching